The graduation ceremony will begin shortly. Please switch off your handphones or put them on silent mode. We have arranged for official photographers to take photos of all graduates receiving their diplomas. There's no need to come to the front to take photographs during the ceremony. If you wish to take additional photos, you may do so after the ceremony at the plaza. I'll be inviting you to stand when the academic procession enters and leaves the convention hall. Graduates, please ensure that you have your admission ticket and identity card with you before joining the queue to receive the scroll box on stage. You will be issued with a card logon ID and password as you leave the stage. Please keep the card as you will need it to place your orders for photos. Lastly, graduates, graduation is a formal occasion. Please show respect for our guests and fellow graduates in your behavior. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Sorry, National Anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, you can really sit now. <laughs> Our guest speaker, Mr. Dennis Chung, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the 58th graduation ceremony of the Singapore Polytechnic. At this 13th session, we'll be presenting diplomas 
and other awards to graduates from the School of Chemical and Life Sciences. May I now invite our principal and chief executive officer, Mr. So Waiwa, to deliver the graduation address. Mr. So, please. Mr. Dennis Cheng, the GM at Silo Singapore and Optical Supply Singapore. Dr. John Ang, the Deputy Chairman of the Advisory Committee for the School of Chemical and Life Sciences. Distinguished guests, family members, colleagues, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to our 58th graduation ceremony. This year, we have 5,263 students graduating from Singapore's first polytechnic. I congratulate all graduates, and in particular, the 300 here with us in this hall to receive your certificates this morning. Founded in 1954, Singapore Polytechnic held our first graduation ceremony in 1961, and then, in 1990, we graduated our 50,000 graduate. In the year 2000, it was 100,000. And in the year 2010, it was 150,000. This year, we celebrate achieving this milestone of graduating our 200,000 graduate. We are the first polytechnic to have achieved this. To the graduates assembled here today, all of you can be proud and honoured to be part of this 200,000 strong network of illustrious men and women who, over the last six decades, have helped build Singapore to what it, we are today. Some of these illustrious SP alumni includes from the earliest cohorts, the veteran architect, Mr. Tan Ching Siong. You will know him from Pearl Bank Apartment, for which he won an award. He was conferred the President's Design Award in 2012. From the 1980s, we have the current chairman of the Singapore Polytechnic Board of Governors, Mr. Bill Cheng. He's the CEO of Group Enterprise at Singtel. In that role, he plays a major role in the development of Singapore's IT and communications industry. But he also is in the Committee for the Future Economy of Singapore, set up by the Singapore government. In recognition of his contribution, he was awarded the Public Service Star in 2017. More recently, we have an accomplished scientist among our alumni family, Dr. Jonathan Lowe, who is a senior principal investigator at the Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology. The 1997 SP graduate is the first Singaporean to be elected to the elite global World Technology Network in 2012 because of his work in stem cells. I hope that all the graduates here today will draw inspiration from these outstanding alumni and continue the SP tradition of powering Singapore's transformation, helping us to become not just a strong economy, but a caring society too. To help you carry the SP alumni mentor to renew the country, to thrive in this era of constant technological disruption, SP has transformed ourselves to become a polytechnic not just for young people, but a polytechnic for all ages. We've committed ourselves to be your lifelong learning partner beyond your graduation. Through our continuing education programs, we will help you to upgrade, to further develop your skills, not just in your specialist areas, but also in generic areas such as entrepreneurship. These programs will indeed be useful to you as you face a volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous environment always subjected to technological change. 
beyond what you have received these last three years, you really need to constantly learn, unlearn and relearn. So, your graduation today is really the beginning of a new chapter in your relationship with SP. As I close, I once again extend my congratulations and I say to you not just goodbye, but I really hope to see you again on campus. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. So. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest speaker this morning is Mr. Dennis Cheng, General Manager of SLS Singapore and Optical Supply Singapore. Mr. Cheng has been the company's general manager since 2014. He graduated from Singapore Polytechnic with a diploma in optometry in 2000 and holds a Bachelor of Science degree in optometry and a Master of Science in clinical optometry from Pennsylvania College of Op Optometry. In his days in SP, he joined the SP Students' Union in his first year and eventually became its president. Mr. Cheng is passionate about transforming the optical industry to an eye care industry and bringing up the awareness of what an optometrist can do in Singapore to promote better sight, which has a significant impact on lives. It's now my pleasure to invite Mr. Dennis Cheng to deliver the graduation address. Mr. Cheng, please. So in case you all look, I look very young, I am still quite very young. <laughs> yes, I'm the guest speaker today, so I think I better stick to my speech. Mr. So Waiwa, Principal and CEO, Singapore Polytechnic, distinguished guests, parents and graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all of you. I'm humbled by the invitation, at the same time, stressed. Why is that so? I have been invited and attended many graduation ceremonies and my very own at Singapore Polytechnic some 18 years ago. So I guess roughly you all guess my age. I guess I kept asking myself what I wish to know then and how I could share meaningfully with you today. I finally drew down to five things that have helped me. And I hope you will find them useful it may not be apparent to you now, but five, ten years down the road, when you look back, all this will make sense to you, like it to do for me. To set the scene, let me share with you a brief background of my company, Essilor. We are a French multinational company which has a heritage of more than 160 years. Manufacturing and distributing ophthalmic lenses, or better known as spectacle lenses, under brands such as Crisa, Transitions, Verilux, Nikon, Kodak, Aizen, and many much more. I've been with the company for 13 years and learned a lot. I am still learning, by the way. I started as a junior lens consultant, conducting product training and providing technical support to eye care practitioners which is who are optometrists and opticians at optical shops whenever they face issues with our products. At that time, I was contented to land a job at MNC, a company with just two years of optical trade experience. The one principle that my father used to guide me since young, and I, is with me till today, and is in Chinese, 吃的苦中苦 Fang Wei Ren Sang Ren. When I try to Google it, the English one is a lot shorter. No pain, no gain. <laughs> then I work very hard, often after office hour and doing beyond my job scope. Remember this, in your 20s, you are young, energetic. What is there for you to lose if you do more? 
Do more and you'll learn more. Why not? So be prepared to work hard. Some of you may ask, how do I keep going? And many people keep asking, how, how do I keep it going? Say, staying in the same industry for 15 years, in the same company for 13 years. I quote the famous Confucius statement, choose a job you love and you never have to work a day in your life. Seriously, it's not easy to find a job that you love. So my advice to you is find the passion along the way. Finding your passion could be easier than you think. Finding the joy and fulfillment in your daily work tasks. Just imagine it's like battery life in your smartphone. You always bring a portable charger. With passion, you don't need to. With passion, it drives you forward, it pushes you further. Try new things. Take up new skills. Find joy in the things you do. Take up new challenges and learn more. It is through hard work and passion that kept me going to where I am today. With the younger generation, I always feel that it is important that you believe in luck. Embrace failure, as well as, more importantly, cultivate a positive attitude, or better known as never-say-die attitude. Since young, my father, again, loved to l listen to Chinese dialect Hokkien song. This is this particular one that quite well known to many, and it goes like this. I'm not going to sing. It's direct, direct English translation. 30% is based on luck from heaven. 70% based on hard work. Work hard and you will win. Do you know the song? So I suppose the parents in the crowd will resonate well with that song. While well, I've been working hard throughout my career, I am fortunate that luck has been on my side. I was at the right place at the right time, and of course, armed with sufficient technical knowledge, came from SP, as well as varied work experience. That's why I mentioned earlier, there isn't anything to lose when you do more and learn more. I moved to managerial positions across different functions, such as professional services, marketing, sales, over a period of 10 years in SLO. In 10 years, I have grown, matured, and learn a lot. Yes, there are successes, but I find that I learn more from the failure. I learned the why and how I failed and what I should have done. Do not fear failure. Embrace it. Treat it as a lesson and came, come out strong from it. When you make mistakes, learn from it. There's one thing that I always love to tell my team. I can't afford for you to make mistakes. I can't afford when you don't learn from your mistake. As a matter of fact, I went through an extremely difficult period in 2016, just two years back. The business entity I was managing were performing way below expectations. Then I was under immense pressure from HQ to turn the business around. At my lowest point, my, God, my father gave me yet another piece of invaluable advice. Yeah, I believe you all heard of Isan Hayo Isan Gao. But this is not what I'm going to say. But my dad gave me San Putzai Gao Yu Xian Zhe Ming. Which means it doesn't how, matter how high a mountain is. Because so long as an immortal resides in it, it will become famous. It took me some time to internalize this meaning. And I define it as the X factor or the never say die attitude. And then I applied it. So instead of letting the negativities such as stress, frustration get into me, my positive attitude prevailed. That got me through 2016, not without scars, of course. Coupled with fierce determination and greed, I implemented transformational changes in the organization. Lots of lessons learned during that period. I'll be happy to share more with you with some of you next time. To me, experience is not just about how old you are or how long you are in the company, but it's about how much you've gone through, how much failure you had, how much success 
you had and how much knowledge you have attained. And thanks to that, I gained the respect from my team, not because of my title or position, but because what I know and how I can guide them. So at the beginning of my speech, I mentioned I will share five things that have helped me in my career. They are hard work, passion, believe in luck, embrace failure, and cultivate positive attitude. Well, life is not just about this. I believe we all have great aspiration and want to be more than that. When we go out there, be it be an optometrist or in related field, our work is and can be very meaningful. Being an optometrist myself, I would like to highlight about this profession and what these optometrist graduates are capable to do. Among the five senses, sight is probably the most important sense ranked by people. Our eyes are not only the windows to our soul, they are also the window to our health. Optometry is not just doing about doing refraction, determining the power of your eyes, fitting spectacles or contact lenses, or teaching you how to wear contact lenses. These are just the tip of the iceberg. Given that Singapore has one of the highest rates of myopia in the world, more importantly, optometrists are capable of determining whether you might have glaucoma, a preventable eye disease due to increasing eyeball pressure that leads to blindness. Cataract, a lens opacity in your eye, by the way, is also treatable. And whether you have uncontrolled diabetes and high blood pressure simply by looking at the back of your eye in the form of diabetic retinopathy and hypertensive retinopathy. With our advice, they will be able to seek timely treatment and save their eyesight. Just like your dental, yearly dental checkup, you are highly encouraged to go for yearly eye checkup. And this can be done at your convenience in an optical practice where an optometrist resides. Singapore today's median population is 40.5 years old and it's an aging population. With the fact that we have high UV exposure throughout the year and the change in lifestyle is therefore more important for us to go for yearly eye checkup. The next time you go to your usual optical shop, ask for the optometrist to provide eye screening for you just to have an ease of mind just like any other health screening that you have went through. Optometrist is a healthcare professional. Again, I am emphasizing the capabilities and potential of these young optometrist graduates and what they can do to make a difference. Last piece of advice. While I spoke about working hard earlier, we do need to strike a balance between work, health, and family. Treasure such things in life and not take it for granted. Relationships especially are delicate and it takes effort to cultivate and build. I give thanks to my family, my parents, my wife and my two boys. If not for the support and understanding that they have given me, it would be difficult to, go to, to get to where I am today. Graduates, your parents have gone through a lot and provided you the best environment they could to see you through education. I am very sure they are proud to be with you today at your graduation ceremony. I mentioned, don't take things for granted and always show gratitude. Even a simple thank you holds great meaning and appreciation. May I kindly ask for your support and ask all the graduates to rise and stand up. I realize you don't need to turn to the direction, you just need to look forward. Turn to your parents. As a show of gratitude for the love and support they have given you, please give them a round of applause.
We should also appreciate our lecturers and to thank them for their unselfish sharing of knowledge and guidance to you. Please give them a round of applause as well. Finally, look around you, shake hands with your, your classmates, whom you spent three delightful years. You can carry on and hug if you want, together. Trust me, this will be the most memorable times of your life when you look back. Now you may sit down. With that, I thank you very much for giving me your attention. I wish you all of you all the best in your future at the vault and believe in whatever you are doing. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chung. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the presentation of diplomas to the graduates. This morning, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to 300 graduates from the School of Chemical and Life Sciences. May I now call upon the director of the School of Chemical and Life Sciences, Dr. Adrian Yeo, to present the diplomas. Dr. Yeo, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Biomedical Science. Lo Ikai Jeffrey. Lo Pui Man. Sarah Tan Su Kai. Tan Jia Wei Eric Amanda Liao Xin Yi Arthur Hine Biondi Li Cedric Chua Jian Hong Chia Wilfred Shemaine Go Yu Zhen Jin Zhi Kang Christine Li Hui En Chua Yi Rong Clement So Zheng Heng Daryl Lim Wei Han Esteban Ira Patricia Colandrino Eugene Gan Chong Wei Felicia Wong Su Ying Gong Jie Ting Grace Yong En Hui Guan Hui Xuan Han Xue Yi
Hang Shou Kit. He Yin Mei. Jackie Tan Le Ti. John Paul Lam Wei Kiong. Ko Jun Jie. Ku Wan Ti. Lai Yi Xin. Li Gui Lan Hilda. Li Kai Jolie. Lei Mei Hua Jessica. Liu Shemin, Lim Li Ping, Lim Ming Er, Lim Xuan. Lo Hui En Cheryl, Lo C T, Mandy Lee Munna, Mariam Binte Ahmad Dalan. Nabila binte Nora Bidin. Nadia Nadira binte Muhammad Rizal. Natalie Therese Fu Bao Jing. Neo Yi Wei. Ng En Xuan, Ng Wei Zhou, Ng Yue Jie Elfus, Nuru Arifa Binte Abdul Latif. Nuru Huda binte Muhammad Hussein. Patrick Henry Sebastian Sija. Ronald Chan Choin Soon. Roy Lau Run Xuan. Siti Nura Fazira binte Sheikh Azimi, Sonia Ravindran, Tai Siu Fang, Tan Si Min. Tio Shu Qi, To An Che, Xu Pei Yu, Yuan Hui Shan Natalie. Zachariah Li Zhiming, Zachary Chua Wei Xuan, Ladies and gentlemen, 
the graduates for the diploma in biotechnology. Bang Wenhan. Angelica Po Pek Lin. Chong Jia Qi. Chong Zijia. Chua Hua Lun. Claire Li Ai Zhi. Fitria Liana Binte Ismail. Guo Xinying. Keith Liu Weilin. Li Tianhui. Li Zining. Li Weiming. Lim Jinkit Brian. Lim Tian Ru. Liu Nian Tzu. Mo Sui Min. Ng Li Jie. Nuru Afika Binte Alwi. Ong Jia Yi Tammy Jeanette. Pretty J Sharma. Samuel Chi En Le. Tan Ka Wei. Tan Pei Lin Pauline. Tan Zhen Han. Wong Hao En Matthew. Wong Zhi Yuan. Xue Jia Yi. Yap Zhe Wei. Yong Jing Hao. Yong Li Fang Denise. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Food Science and Technology. Audrey Sung Yun Tin. Lo Pei Shan. Na Hui San. Ng Yi Hong. Sean Go Yong Ye. Adria So Siu Ying. Ahmad Rizkin bin Ahmad Sanusi. L.B. Chua Shi Ying.
Alicia Angelica Stewart. Ang Antan Nathalie. Arvin Mok Gok Ming. Benjamin Ng Ming Lee. Bernice Teo Wei Lin. Celine Tan Kun Ling. Chan Yong Hui Kit. Charlotte Ong Yi Xuan. Chen Ling Ying Clarissa. Chu Jin Wei Fernando. Cha Yin Yin. Chin An Ting. Chung Ming Chi. Chong Hua Tian Winnie. Chua Julin. Chong Xin Yan Melissa. Clarabelle Ang Mei Hui. Cruz Denise Ellison Sellen. Yi Ying Xuan Maria. Go Deng Yong. Isabel Ong Jing Xuan. Judd Zurayat Bin Jeffrey. Jasia Fais Jahia Hussein. Jim Tia Min Tanya. Joel Chu Ho Ju. Joey T. Kam Shue Ting. Kang Hui Mei. Ko Guat Gui. Kwa Hao Ren. Kwan Yong Yi. Lao Lei Yun. Li Yen Ting Alfred. Liu Xinyi. Liang Kia Chi. Liang Wingxie. Lim Peying. Lo Ka Yi Mavis. Lok Ying Teng. Lo Li Hui.
Lo Chao Fei. Lai Yue Xin. Matthew Yap. Megan Sung Jie Yi. Nazura Hazika Binte Abdul Rashid. Niu Wei Chen. Ng Kuok Chen. Ng Man Yi. Ng Yun Kit. Ng Zi Ning. Novel Tan Jia Ling. Nurbadriya Binte Reslan. Nurdini Binte Anas. Nur Amira Binte Abdul Aziz. Rebecca Schiller. Sam Si Yu Jamie. Sammy Lee Sin Yi. Xia Hui Lin Joyce. Si Kian Wei. Shanice Yi Ti. Tang Pei Ling. Te Clara. We Ye Mei. Wong Hua Yi Danel. Wong Jia En. Yap Siu Chen. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Nutrition, Health and Wellness. Ang Tzu Xian. Chan Mei Ting. Chan Yok Tong. Chia Hui Ling. Crystal Sim Shui Jing. Dana Ge Yi. David Benjamin Ku Kei Wen. Hanisa Binte Rehan. Ho Kia Nam. Janice Tan Jie En. Kennedy Yap Po Chong. Quack Hui Yi Noel. Li Jiani Isabelis.
Lisa C. Darren. Lim Tianjie. Liu Zhenxin. Lo Huan Yi. Margareta Siswana. Natalie Le Hui Li, Ng Xin Yi, Nita Yo Li Qin, No Shahira Binte Muhammad No. Nurshazwani binte Salim. Ong Shihan Eliora. So Hui Shan. Chanel Go Shi En. So Gek Yen Iris Tan Jia Yi Tang Jia Hao Hanathan To Jing Rong Ryan Trisha Giam Hui Xuan Vivian Lim Shu Xian Wun Jing Wen Xiao Yao Qiu Zi Yap Hui Min Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Optometry Anj Ng Jing Min Chen Yun Ru Fathin Zulaiha Binte Muhammad Razak Sung Shi Min Abra Ulhaq Bin Akba Bernice Pua Rei Yi Boon Pei Chi Chum Shu Ting Diane Charmaine Boy Elise Tan Shu Chi Faiza binte Syed Sultan Fadila binte Majinin Hayes Linadia Bibi binte Zainudan Hugh Lee Yi Hong Tong
Jamie Sito Hawaii. Jane Go Mei Bin. Jane Lei Su Hui. Joaquin Mary Diane Mamuri. Joey Sung Jing Yi. Kang Jun Jie Justin. Karishma Ko. Ken Li Jing Wei. Ko Kian Wei. Li Jing Lian. Li Jun Wei. Li Xiao Heng Ronald. Leong Jing Kuan Joshua. Le Lei Swan. Liu Qi En Samuel. Lim Hui Xin. Lim Jia Hui. Lim Yun Cheng. Lo Wei Han. Loi Hong Ling. Mo Heng Feng Martin. Musliha Binte Muhammad Rahim. Nicole Ng. Nurfatin Amira Binte Saprudin. Nurshamimi Binte Hassan. Nuru Hadira Binte Jumari. O Tan Wei Serene. P. Hima Shamuga Sriya. Sarah Said Abdat. Xia Cheng Li Joan. Sit Si Jen Jaden. Sharifa Nabila Binte Said Abdullah Al Haddad. Shirley Tan Hui Yin. Si Yen Ting Jazari. Siti Nua Suhaila Binte Samsuri. Soon Ender. Stephanie Claire Tan Yen Ting. Tan Soon Ping. Tan Xiang Ning. Tan Yi Hui. T. 
Tae Jit Young. Tae Liang Jin. Tiara Alisa Binte No Azmi Sun Bru An Joan Zachary Tan Jing Xuan Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the list of graduates from the School of Chemical and Life Sciences. Thank you, Dr. Yeo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present the prizes to our graduates for their excellent academic performance. May I now invite Dr. John Ang, Deputy Chairman of the School of Chemical and Life Sciences Advisory Committee, to present the following prizes. Dr. Ang, please. From the Diploma in Biomedical Science course, the Singapore Association for Medical Laboratory Sciences Award, Lee E. Lin. <laughs> From the Diploma in Biotechnology course, the Singapore Institute of Biology Award, Kevin Chua Wei Hong. From the Diploma in Food Science and Technology course, the Tai Hua Food Industries Award, Mark Wai Ming. From the Diploma in Nutrition, Health and Wellness course, the Singapore Nutrition and Dietetics Association Award, Wang Yi Chie. From the Diploma in Optometry course, the Asila Singapore Award, Ng Pei Ling. That concludes the presentation of prizes. Thank you, Dr. Ang. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present course medals to our top graduates for their outstanding all-round performance. May I invite Mr. Dennis Chung, General Manager of Essilor Singapore and Optical Supplier of Singapore to present the medals. Mr. Chung, please. From the Diploma in Biomedical Science course, the Biomedics Singapore Silver Medal is awarded to Yo Chia Chun. <laughs> the All Aids Singapore Gold Medal is awarded to Wong Yi Sheng. From the Diploma in Biotechnology course, the Shimadzu Asia Pacific Silver Medal is awarded to Aloysius Kwek Chun Hui. The Yakut Singapore Gold Medal is awarded to Chua Yu Song.
from the Diploma in Food Science and Technology course, the ALS Technicam Singapore Silver Medal is awarded to Zakia Binti Kadir Sahib. The Singapore Food Manufacturers Association Gold Medal and the Singapore Institute of Food Science and Technology Award come Rintol Scholarship are awarded to Chao Kang Hui. From the Diploma in Nutrition, Health and Wellness course, the Fitness First Singapore Silver Medal is awarded to Darren Go Chun Hao. From the Diploma in Optometry course, the Cooper Vision Singapore Silver Medal is awarded to Chung Ying Bing. The Johnson & Johnson Vision Singapore Gold Medal is awarded to Lai Pin Yen. That concludes the presentation of course medals. Thank you, Mr. Chung. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, giving the valedictory speech this morning is Kennedy Yap, a graduate of the Nutrition, Health and Wellness. May I now call upon Kennedy to deliver the farewell address on behalf of the new graduates. Kennedy, please. A very good morning to our guest of honor, Mr. Dennis Cheng, PCEO Mr. So Waiwa, ladies and gentlemen. To begin, I would like to thank three groups of people. The first group of people I'd like to thank are the friends that we have made in SP. I'm sure we all have friends that have made an impact and have taught us much during our stay here. Be it studying together frantically for exams or training together to achieve our fitness goals, all these moments will be missed. All the mugging and struggles, I'm glad to say that they're over for now. The second group of people I'd like to thank are, are the lecturers. You have given us many opportunities to learn and grow outside our comfort zones. Your sharing of work experiences provided us with an idea of how the industry we could be entering looks like. And the last group of people I would like to thank are our parents. Without their continuous support and encouragement, we would not have made it this far. I've always wanted to be a physiotherapist. However, an A-level qualification is a prerequisite for the advanced diploma program and hence, I enrolled into a junior college. Unfortunately, I found that a JC program did not quite seem to suit me, and I eventually dropped out. I then enrolled into SP, where I found my place in a more practical approach to learning. My friends thought that I had made a rash decision when I dropped out. But here I am, three years later, a proud graduate of Singapore Polytechnic. I may not have completed JC, but I have definitely learned three important lessons from there, which are quite similar to our guest speaker, Mr. Dennis Cheung, has shared. Firstly, do not give up. I had been failing, I had, been, I had not been doing very well for every single subject during my first year in JC, but I pressed on to see where it would take me. Although I failed the year, at least I felt knowing I had given everything I had. Secondly, do not fear failure, as it could be a step towards achieving our goals. We stumble and fall from time to time, but these experiences allow us to learn from our mistakes. If we do not fail, we may not see possible areas for improvement. Thirdly, do not be afraid to try. There was a risk that I may not get what I had wanted after I had left JC, but still, I tried. 
Fortunately for me, I have graduated today with all of you. Achieving our goals may not always be easy, but we owe it to ourselves to try, and we should see any failure as stepping stones towards our goals. I will close this speech with a quote by Dennis Whitley, which I deeply feel for. Failure should be our teacher, not our undertaker. Failure is delay, not defeat. It is a temporary detour, not a dead end. Failure is something we can avoid only by saying nothing, doing nothing, and being nothing. So, do not give up, do not fear failure, and do not be afraid to try. Congratulations to our CLS graduates of 2018. Thank you. Thank you, Kennedy. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony is now adjourned. May I invite all to stand? The procession groups will now leave the convention hall. Thank you for your patience. Please join us for the tea reception at the plaza outside the convention center. May I now invite parents and guests to leave the convention center first. Have a pleasant day.